I have a confession. You see, I have all of these books. There's physical books all around my house. And it's not just physical books. I've got digital books too. I haven't stopped collecting books over the years, but I really haven't kept up in reading them. And as you can see, there's no empty space left on these shelves. But there's one book in particular I've got to show you. Let's go find it. Can you see it? Have you spotted it yet? It's this one right here. Pyramid Tower. So before I actually open this and reveal what's inside, I want to give you a bit of a backstory about this. It was my late grandfather's and he would have turned 100 this year. And my confession is, is that I've never read it. And to be honest, it kind of surprises me that I've never read this book because it's so interesting with its homemade cover, pyramids on the side, and these pictures, pyramids. And my grandfather was a very interesting man. He actually fought in the war uh, in Egypt, and he always had these quirks about him. One of them, I remember, was that he built these pyramids. Unfortunately, he's not alive anymore, so I can't ask him all these questions about why he did what he did and how it all worked. But I do have a hint, I think, in this book. But I have an idea first. Why don't I try my grandma and see if she's got any insights into this book? It's got that South African ringtone. Hopefully she picks up. We need answers. Hello, Granny. Hey. What's good with you? How are you doing? Very well, Matthew. That's good. I had a question for you. I um I was looking at my shelf and I rediscovered Grandpa's pyramid book. So I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about it. You don't know anything about it? Okay. That's that's okay. That's why it's there. It's so I can uh I can learn a bit about it by reading it. So we'll have to open that mystery yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. I'm repeating something now, but you have to see your mother. Okay. You have to see your mother. <laughs> okay. I will. Okay. Lots of love. So calling my grandma didn't really end up getting me anywhere in terms of answers, although it was a nice chat and there's a new uh secret mystery. Maybe I should try my mom. Hopefully she picks up. Hi, Latricia speaking. <laughs> you have me on. It's your son. I was expecting someone else to call me. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad it's you. How okay. are you? I was wondering if you remember anything about Grandpa and his pyramids. When I was cleaning out a closet, I found his pyramid. Okay. So I did send you a picture. He used to spend um, a lot of time making these pyramids day after day. Yeah, he, he left his pyramids. Did you ever see them when you were visiting? Yeah, I remember his looking pyramids. at them on his shelf yeah. and they had to face a certain direction and I was always curious. It was for his razors, right? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, he never had to buy a razor. He would put the razors underneath the pyramids and, I don't know, somehow they turned out to be very sharp. He hmm. never bought a, a razor. Yeah, maybe you should try. Maybe I should. Well, that's a little more challenging than I thought. It's going to take a little more time for me to make my very first pyramid, but I think I understand now. I think I get why he never had to buy a razor, the magic of Polly's pyramids. And the real gem here for me, though, is that through this process, I feel like I've gotten closer 
to my grandfather, and I understand his quirks a little bit better. One of my favorite memories of his quirks was that he used to label his underwear by day of the week. So do you. No, I don't. 